Racer family, guess what time it is? Time for the hamburger and French fry show. Oh, hey, there you go. that is the fakest of fake smiles, by the way, because <laughs> we had a recession. We had a recession. We'll bleep that, by the way. We apologize. No, it's okay. Actually, real professionals are working next well, door. Well, yeah, our friends next door at Action Express Racing had even less fun. Your car came back in one piece. They, they, they had more than one piece when they came back. Uh, our guy Jack Aitken got a little loose entering turn four, and he didn't exit turn four. But they'll get the car repaired. They're doing a MGU change right now as a caution, make sure everything's fine, get 31 Wheel and Engineering Cadillac back on track. So you were here recently along with some other GTP teams testing here at WeatherTech Raceway in Laguna Seca. Brand new track surface. I kept hearing like four to five seconds faster, rocket. And this session, year to year, from FP1 in 2023 for GTP, only 2.3 seconds faster. So quicker, but slower than expectation. Tell folks about that, because I know it's frustrating. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, it's just uh, at the best, it was significantly faster. It's still, uh, I mean, a couple of seconds faster, because, like, you know, nobody did a quality sim. The 14s were only in qualifying, but uh, yeah, the feel is like really atrocious. There's a, a bunch of uh, marbles and a lot of dust and crap on the track uh, being dragged on by the GTs and uh, lots of people going off. And I think that's probably contributing quite heavily in the, the grip level situation. Uh, Did you we, hear that? Such a prototype driver. Only the GT drivers are doing it. None of the prototype people. Well, it's just because they can get their inside right. wheels okay. in the dirt over right. the curves we can. Fair um, point. So, uh, I mean, on exit, I'm, I'm guessing everybody's somewhat responsible. I'm yeah. sure they're not the only ones dropping wheels off, but uh, yeah, and it's a little windy, and when there is wind and guys going off, then it's just like the dust comes right back on the track. But the, the marble situation is really bizarre, because we, we had quite a few cars running GTP and, and uh, GTs at the test, and I didn't see any of that. So that, that was very, uh, very strange. Like, if you do not hit the Ipexes and get yourself a little bit on the cushion, Man, it is like ice. There's just uh, chunks of rubber flying wow. everywhere. So it's uh, yeah, it's surprising. Uh, and then obviously we we missed most of the session because we we had seemingly a water leak, and then we're just not quite sure where that water came from because it just seemed to evaporate and then eventually just never came back. So I don't know, something wow. happened, but uh, yeah, we lost. Uh, yeah, the better part of the session got going with 30 minutes to go, so uh, not not ideal. But uh, like you said, it could be worse. The 31s obviously had enough, and uh, the guys are working hard to fix it now. So at least at least our guys are you know not fixing a car right now. Let's close on this. So with the structure, how this weekend is put together, Seb, we wait till Friday afternoon. We have a long session. Come back tomorrow morning, Saturday. Have one more session of practice go into qualifying and then we race on Sunday. It's a pretty quick thing. What do you do when this big Friday educational session, learn a lot about the car and the track and use that info to really arm yourself going forward when the session just doesn't go according to plan? Is it guessing? Is there data you could maybe find that could help? Yeah, what do you do? For sure, we'll look at whatever we got, which isn't much, but it's better than nothing. And uh, we try and regroup, obviously. Uh, tomorrow's practice session is completely irrelevant because it's at 9 a.m. and temperatures are going to be cold, and uh, so we we'll, we'll probably won't know much of anything about anything. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it is a tough schedule, and it really, unfortunately, you know, we all we all hear like, hey, you know, we're saving money, we're trying to do this, we're trying to do that, but really, what it's forcing you to do is go testing, which isn't cheap by any means. So I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really convinced on that. I wish. To be honest, if we're only going to run two sessions, at, uh, at least that one would be quite a bit longer because with two drivers, it, it goes by incredibly quick and you have the slightest problem like we had and then you're left with like 30 minutes to try and get a bit of an idea. So, you yeah, know, it's, it's for the same for everybody, you know, so it is what it is, but uh, for sure it's, it's kind of putting you in a hole pretty quickly if things don't go to plan. Okay, well... Smiley Grumpy, but for good reasons, uh, but... Smiley Grumpy, you said? Yeah, I saw your mom and your dad here, so that should be nice. Where are you going to go have dinner tonight, raise your spirits, and be with your family, and he's just going to be a bundle of smiles in the morning. What's what's the plan? Uh, we got no plan for the moment. Just going to take a look at what's going on here, and then uh, see at what time we get out of here. All right, well, that's your hamburger and french fry show for Friday at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. 
a mostly clean session. We had that one red with the crash that we mentioned. We had a couple offs here and there, but for the most part, not too many late nights for folks. We're gonna come back tomorrow after the first session, uh, do our show, preview qualifying. Yeah, cause you're out of here. No, this guy is incredible. I can't stand this guy. I mean, he's like, he's like wheels up before modifying even gets here. Like, all right, you see, you see the level of interest. So I can give him some shit because yeah. he doesn't give a rat's ass about this thing. I don't at all. But I do hope to get home in time to watch qualifying. But I gotta do my laundry and then pack and go to Indy. Uh, aren't you gonna be there too? Why aren't yeah. you driving? But you see, I thought I'm you were gonna a good qualify. Driver. I'm gonna race. Then I'm gonna head home, do my laundry too, just like you know, it doesn't do itself. And then I'll be in Indy on Monday night for the whole 10 days or whatever. I really don't appreciate you calling out the complete lie and bluff I was trying to pass off. So the fact that you picked that up, he's not my friend. This is a bad person. You just don't like him. Just a steak in between bread yeah, and the frame. Yeah. I don't see how. I'm the gristle. I'm the gristle in this relationship. All right, that's enough nonsense. We'll speak to you tomorrow.